Hey everybody, Ghost Fox here. Today we have an interesting product to look at. This is a Geiger counter from FT Lab. Uh, here's a look at the box. It's the Smart Geiger counter. And here is the actual unit itself. And this just plugs into, let me face it right side up here. This just plugs into the headphone outlet on your smart device, cell phone. Uh, it should work on tablets as well. And this actually is the item that you need. You can download an app for it from the App Store and then you can just plug this in and it will read the radiation levels, just like a normal Geiger counter would, through your phone. Now, you do need this, not just the app, so um, you, know, you don't want to be confused by that. But it's actually pretty useful and we'll do a little bit of a demonstration to see exactly how this works. Here's a look at the Smart Geiger counter. It's very easy to use. The unit, you just plug it into the headphone port on your phone, and then there is an app for it. We can get a look at it here. It's very simple, and you do need the unit for the app. You can't just uh, use this app on its own. I think some people might have had that misconception, but it's quite easy to use, and I'll do a little demonstration here. Just kind of standing in the kitchen, press the button, and then it gives you this waiting. Well, that is difficult to see here. But you can see that it's uh, 0 0.10 units, which is in the green, and obviously not a lot of radiation. Now, we'll go over to our microwave here, as you can see, and We'll take a look and see what the reading with that is. The microwave is not even on right now. Is the app here? Measuring, okay. Make sure I was doing that right. It takes a few seconds to get the reading on it. So as you can see, standing near the microwave, there's already a fair amount of radiation coming from this unit, 10.67, which you can see is red. Obviously, uh, microwaves are a form of radiation, and this absolutely does detect that quite well. So will turn that off. Next, we're going to test something that uh, you might not think actually has a lot of radiation to it. You'd probably be surprised. But these are bananas. So if you remember, the normal reading was 0 0.1. Let's take a look at these bananas and see how much radiation these bananas have. Whoops. I got a little impatient there. And it could take a few seconds to measure, I mean you got to be a little bit patient. So as you can see, the bananas actually give off more radiation than the microwave when not in use. 62.78 units. You'd be surprised, but after doing a little bit of research, I found this is actually pretty typical. Bananas are probably the most irradiated item that we have in our household. I mean, it's readings coming down a little bit, but you know, it's sort of surprising. There are actually things around your house that you wouldn't think had radiation present, but they do. And in fact, this this Geiger counter does show uh, just how well it works it does in fact measure radiation of varying types so obviously this works quite well and uh, if you have a reason to use it whether you're concerned about safety or you know just kind of enjoy the tech and like to play around with it it makes a fun little option
So you can see that it does read radiation pretty well, and you'd be surprised at the things that are radiated or that provide radiation around your house. From obvious things like the microwave to things that you might not have suspected, like fruits, vegetables, and bananas. Actually, after doing some research, I was kind of surprised at the amount of things that can have radiation levels in your house. So this has a lot of uses for both safety as well as even things like science projects, research, things like that. I personally think that this would make a very interesting and very fun little research project for um, a student working on things like radiation and studying things like radiation. So whether you are a professional or a hobbyist or just someone interested in safety and radiation, it's a really interesting, neat little tool and it does work really well. Uh, and it's actually not very expensive considering what it can do. So I was pretty impressed by this little gadget and um, there's not a whole lot else to say about it. Simple, easy to use, easy to set up. So if it is something that um, you're interested in, I would definitely give this a, a shot. You'd actually maybe even have a little bit more fun with it than you might expect. But that is a look at the FT Lab Geiger counter. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a little like or a thumbs up. And as always, I'm happy to answer any questions about the tech review. Thanks for watching.